we can nicely depict a steady one-dimensional heat conduction through a rectangular solid. We assume that the surface on the top, on the bottom, the one in front and the one at the back are insulated, so the heat can only flow in one direction. The ends of the solids are exposed to different temperatures. The temperature within the material is a function of X. Under steady state conditions, the gradient of the temperature is linear. The rate of heat transfer is described by a Fourier's law. Let's look at this equation. Fourier's law for one-dimensional heat transfer. The heat flux in, one, in x direction is proportional to the thermal conductivity and the temperature gradient in the x direction. Minus sine is a consequence of the fact that the heat is transferred in the direction of decreasing temperature. For steady state condition, where our temperature gradient is linear, we can write dt over dx is t2 minus t1 over x2 minus x1 where this is the length of our solid and the heat flux is then minus k t2 minus t1 over l Let's not forget that the heat flux is the heat rate per surface area and the heat flux is perpendicular to the surface, normal to the surface.